Yeah, Apostle, welcome to Accelerate Thank one more you. time. Thank you. Thank so you very for much. blessing us so much. Yeah. It really the, is. This, the sessions have been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, phenomenal sessions. And, you know, just sitting in this car with you, I can feel the glory of God. <laughs> 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 you know, and, you know, you spoke about speed. Yes. And some of the things that in that speed, and that speed is a blessing when you have direction. Absolutely. When you have vision. Absolutely. That's and you true. know, many people uh, think when they see a car like mm. this, they think of speed because mm. this kind of car is built for speed. Absolutely. It's built to move swiftly. Mm. And that looks like the destiny of every believer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, who are them that fly? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like the clouds. clouds. Uh -huh. mm. That's, that's, we're supposed to fly to move with speed. Mm. Uh, but sometimes it just looks like people are stranded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, Pastor, like we're discussing, the truth about it is that um, speed only finds its value when there is direction. Mm -hmm. Yes, every time you're trying to navigate your path through a city or a place, um, if you do not know the place, have direction, you will have to slow down mm -hmm. until you find the place. So um speed is wonderful it's important but i think that um, most people do not have direction yes and direction is a product of the ministry of the holy spirit mm. you know in addition to the ministry of the word so yeah, so, so so like a, a message that god put in my heart yes. i think two accelerates conferences away which i called relevant speech oh wow yeah Oh, well. um, from what you said now, it resonates with me again that in life there is a relevant speed and there's relevant speed. The relevant speed is the one you just took off, mm. you know, on your wing. Absolutely. You don't know what you're doing, you don't know what is chasing, you mm. don't know what you're chasing, mm. you're just moving. Mm. Uh, and life should be more purposeful Absolutely. than that. And we've seen a lot of purposefulness in you. Amen. And Thank how you. God has used to you. So I, I want to just say something about that. Um, well, the Jesus said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will. Mm -hmm. I believe that direction is derived from knowing the will of God for a person. What we call purpose is simply the role that we have to play as far as God's program is concerned. Mm -hmm. And demanding for things like speed, favor only become useful when it is connected to purpose. Mm -hmm and purpose now ultimately connected to the will of God. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, like you shared, relevant speed uh, would now find its place and find value when it is used as a tool that overall leads you to the place of purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes, once mm -hmm. purpose is taken out of the equation, every demand that the believer is making does not have a basis wow. because everything, speed, um, prosperity, wisdom, increase, all of them are a means to an end, the end being that purpose. Mm. Jesus said, for this cause, this reason I was born, he found where it was written concerning him. Mm. So every other thing that happened to him was an accelerator towards that purpose, mm. Mm. you see. Mm. So if, if we decide to take, say, for a drive now to town or something, for instance, um where we are headed for is why we are moving mm. so if we lose touch of the goal the ultimate destination then our drive now does not have any value mm. so, you see so so like romans 8 and 28 says for we know that all things work together for mm. the good of them that love god and are called according to, to his, his purpose. purpose that's right when we removed that call that, according to his purpose yes it's not likely that all things will work together absolutely mm. all things work together based on the guarantee that they will lead you towards purpose. Mm -hmm. So when you take the purpose part out, then there is no reason why all things will work together. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm um, just, just adding to your teaching. It's yeah. very powerful. Yeah. Uh, most people desire speed in their lives, but they do not connect it to purpose. And this is true for prosperity. This is true for whatever it is, you know. Um, all that God gives us is with respect to our ability to use it for this kingdom purpose yeah, yeah. Mm, so I, I love what you said in your teaching this morning the first key to unusual progress mm. in the beginning god god absolutely god mm. you know uh, god at the center mm. 
mean, if, if God is not in it, yes, sir. and it is not all about Him, mm. uh, well, it becomes ambition rather than vision. Wow. And, wow. Yeah, and we can't have uh, the grace of God and the power of God to resource it because it's then personal. Um, I believe, like I shared, that the Bible already gives us the protocol in the beginning, God, the beginning of everything and anything at all. The reason is not just because we're Christians. The reason is because he literally is the creator of the ends of the earth. And so um, all things come from him. The Bible says in John chapter 1 and verse 3, he says, um, all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. So um, allowing God to be the basis of your pursuit, your journey, is not about fanatism. It's not even about Christianity. Mm -hmm. It's an orientation that guarantees your progress mm -hmm. because ignoring God is bringing the success factor out of your life longevity factor out of your life sooner or later the vicissitudes of life will compel you to see how limiting your knowledge without god is or money without god is or connections without god is he is the force that powers all these other things so when we propose that people make god the center of their lives it's not an attempt to just be a fanatic like you know just advocating fanatism we're saying that the creator of the ends of the earth designed the order to be that way that he becomes alpha then he walks you through the entire process and becomes omega yes wow. Wow. That, that's very instructive that's very instructive there's something else you shared yes. that really interested me and that's the the source of god's power mm. you know uh, your apostolic ministry has been you know you know replete with the evidence mm. of god's power yes. god's grace the transforming uh effect of the spirit and you said um one is that god's power is made available through intimacy intimacy yeah it's and uh, it's also made available true knowledge mm. the knowledge of the cosmos yes. how things work around us and many other things we share but many people really feel that if i can get power from other sources mm. why should i focus on intimacy why should uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, and you know and when people start to fly high in life um, they don't know how to manage intimacy with God. Mm. So they carried away by flashy things like this car yeah. and all that. That's what they have to show as a trophy mm. for living a good life. But we know that His presence is actually the best habitation for us. Absolutely. Uh, I, Absolutely. I, 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 I wanted to see the truth there. Okay. Um, the truth is that, um, let me just merge two things that you have said. One, for the concept of power, um like i shared that there, there are three levels of power one being the highest being the power that is derived from intimacy second being the power that is derived from the knowledge of laws and principles and then third covenant alignment to a vessel um, that has a covenant with god and all of them do not administer the same level of power power operates like money I can have, say, for instance, a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars can do a lot of things, can buy me groceries, can do a lot of things, but it may not purchase a home. You see, so uh, the limitation there is if I camp around the realm of a thousand dollars using this example, there are many other strides I may not be able to achieve. So the power that is gotten from laws and principles is potent, is God's power, but it cannot be compared to the power that comes from a relationship. You see, because there are times that these laws themselves can be manipulated, say, by demon spirits. The Bible is very clear as to the fact that um, under normal circumstances, certain things should happen. But then the presence of demon spirits will make the circumstances abnormal. This is where the power from intimacy comes in. Because you are then able to superimpose uh, beyond the limitation of demon spirits. For instance, there is no law and principle that can cast out devils. Mm. There is no law and principle 
you see they can they can activate certain things to work within the cosmos but because of the presence of demonic spirits that the bible acknowledges and the fact that we're not here alone so we need to outsource higher levels of power mm -hmm. um, for instance peter in john 21 he goes back to fish and based on the knowledge of laws and principles he was a skilled man he was at the right place he was using the right net but he still did not catch fish mm -hmm. so there are times all the factors are in place yeah. there was nothing he was doing that was wrong mm. in terms of mastery skill all the laws that were needed to succeed he had it there but he still did not catch fish now that is where we talk about a higher dimension mm. so jesus comes to say now i see that you've done everything right but you do not have fish so he now prophesied cast your net to the right side and a miracle just happened there wow so if 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 the believer remains at the realm of laws and principles alone we will succeed to a measure but will still be limited mm. Mm. this is where god comes in now yeah. and then you made mention of the fact that people use external things just to measure success um well thank god for great pastors like you and by the way i really appreciate the incredible leadership and your mentorship style over your people i yeah. think that um um anyone who sits under this kind of teaching grace uh, would be methodically mentored to understand the kingdom from a holistic standpoint first of having a vehicle like this is not wrong uh, the bible is very clear as to the fact that it is god's good pleasure to give us the kingdom yeah. but then um we know that it, the a man's worth does not consist of the physical things the abundance of yes. the processes. Yeah. These, these, these are metals that were artistically put together <laughs> and so <laughs> beyond as beautiful as it is an expensive metal by the way and so, <laughs> so but then um this will come and go yeah it's incredible that something this beautiful in the next 10 years will not be as desirable as this you look at the rolls royces and the bentleys of the 70s 80s mm -hmm. at the point of production they look like the best that technology could bring yeah so also now we're enjoying this beautiful but i mean in a few years it's not going to be that desirable but the presence of god never fades mm -hmm. Mm. the presence of god does not increase in value yeah. it only increases the person who is in that presence mm. you see so there is a big difference between the wealth of his presence and then these physical manifestations mm. this will depreciate mm. no matter how careful you know you, you, you take it. care of it yeah. you manage it eventually the law of wear and tear will come in yeah. but the presence of god renews mm. the presence of god accelerates mm. the presence of god elevates mm. You know the presence of god brings speed so this is why we advocate that beyond these physical things cars houses that um the greatest wealth of the believer is the presence of god i'll wrap up my 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 um, contribution to what you are saying by just bringing a scripture that comes to mind it says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the strong man in his strength let not the rich man in his riches, but let him that glory yet glory in this, that he knoweth and understandeth me. Mm. Yes. Mm. Let him glory in that he knows me. Yes, and, understand and he understands me. me. Wow. Mm. So uh, all our trophies and accolades mm. will not do the magic yes. when it comes to God's perspective. Absolutely. To what we should glory in. Mm man will celebrate you for your trophies mm -hmm. for your accolades mm -hmm. they will celebrate you for you know i mean today people i mean if you're an influencer you know those kind of things yes. people show off what they have mm -hmm. you know but god said when it comes to me glory in that you know me absolutely and you understand me absolutely and that can only be a derivative mm -hmm. of intimacy wow. yeah uh, now I can say I know apostle to some extent mm. because of <laughs> intimacy. <laughs> intimacy. Yes. I can that? know I can know about you by reading your book. Mm. I can know about you by following you online. But mm. I know you when I encounter you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we have to seek that encounter in this presence. Absolutely. Yeah. Not outside of his presence. Mm -hmm. And so I mean, believers must inevitably be lovers of his presence. Mm. And anything that um, makes us not to feel endeared to his presence 
we must walk away from it. Mm. Yeah, because it's in his presence that we are preserved, mm. that speed is guaranteed, that accuracy is guaranteed, that protection is guaranteed, longevity is guaranteed, mm. and eternal life mm. is guaranteed. And, and just perfect. to add to what you're saying, this yeah. is now the value of church. Mm. Because God has designed that the church becomes the house of God. We call it the house of God. He said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of God. So that the, the house of God and corporate fellowship are enhancers mm. as far as experiencing the presence of God. Mm. And for the many who have come now, attending the conference and the many who worship both here and all your expression centers and across the globe you see so many of them now have this church and this platform as an opportunity to strengthen their access to god's presence he says when i came to the house of god then understood i there are many things about the presence of god and the dynamics of the spirit life that can only be understood when they submit themselves to the leadership of a teaching priest mm. so this is what you are doing to your precious people and but that only happens when they are willing to submit themselves you see that the corporate gathering of believers is more than just going to church mm. it's more than just attending a program mm. um so i think that if i have any word um for your precious people and many who are connecting who may be following uh, this podcast or whatever expression is going to be that there is infinite value infinite value in the pursuit of god's presence mm -hmm. and that the house of god is a principal enhancer as far as accessing the presence of god is concerned a sinner for instance who knows nothing about the presence of god he finds god in church mm -hmm. So the many who were saved yesterday and many who will be saved, you know, at, at the conference and all the other conferences that are lined up coming now and in the future, mm -hmm. that happens courtesy the house of God, mm -hmm. courtesy a, a loving pastor and a teaching priest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So you, you, you've heard it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is on the sideline of Accelerate 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, we're so blessed to have a pursuit. Uh, Joshua Selman with us um, and it's been such a great blessing and I just took out time with him you. To, to just have this chat that I believe will resource your heart and endear you more mm -hmm. to the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Apostle, your, your, your parting shot, uh, anything in your, in your mind, just, just a parting shot. Absolutely. Um, but to encourage you to love Jesus and to seek his presence um that 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 includes your prayer life includes your word study life and then it includes submitting yourself to the ministry of a teaching priest and then you will go from glory to glory and grace to grace amen from glory to glory and from grace to grace and god will keep shifting us amen. to new levels amen. and new levels and new levels amen thank you apostle Joshua thank, Selma, you. thank you so for, much for sharing the moment with thank me you. and god sharing this you. moment god with us at the elevation you. church we thank you. you thank you i, I love you, too, sir. you thank you appreciate thank you. you god bless thank you. you very much yeah thank you all right you. uh and it's, it's a wrap uh for for us uh i hope you listen to this and watch this from time to time just to you know just enhance your spirit and get prepared for what is ahead of you Amen. because speed is coming your way this Amen. season Amen. and god is perfecting all that concerns you and your home so don't despair uh cheer up because the word of god is working Hallelujah. and it's going to continue to work in your life Amen. in jesus name Amen. thank you and god bless Amen. cheers